So, you want to figure out how to get your English captions or any language in Premiere Pro to another caption language? Well, it's easier than you think with this latest Premiere Pro update. So, let's get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your text panel in Premiere Pro, and obviously, you want to make sure you transcribe it, and then you want to click CC, Caption Format, and then you just want to do whatever you want for your preferences and of course you can select your style if you have one and you want to click create captions and then once they've loaded we can then select all of them and make sure you're on the captions panel right here not transcript not graphics but the caption panel and click this button right here where there's like a language and then an a and it'll say translate your captions to multiple languages and then you can target your specific language that you want. So you could pick Danish, Dutch, Filipino, all of these different options right here. And personally, the language that I have to switch over to the most with some client projects is with Spanish. So for this example, I'm gonna be selecting Spanish. And then for style, if you have a style font that you already have in Premiere Pro, you can select that. And then select advanced preferences. I usually prefer to do one line captions. So we're gonna translate it. And then right here on the caption panel above, it is gonna transcribe them right here. And then all you have to do is just deselect this and then select this eye toggle right here to remove your other captions. And there you go. You now have captions in a different language with literally three clicks of a button. And it's really that easy for in Premiere Pro and it's free. Typically what I did before this last Premiere Pro update, I used Firecut and I would do add captions, and then I would select a different language and that still can be very helpful because they have a ton of different caption presets that you can use. So just as an example, I'm gonna show you guys right here if you use Firecut, which I will have linked down below, what the different caption styles you can do. So again, for this example, I'm going to select Spanish, so we can just type it in right here, full sequence, and then transcribe. And as you can see, Firecut has all these different fun caption styles. Firecut isn't free, but again, if you have different client projects like myself and you use a ton of different styles, and if you edit in Premiere Pro, then this plugin's 100% worth it. So you could do like this Hormozy style, you could do a pop-up, you could do a Mr. B style, you could do an Ali Abdul type style. And again, you can make a ton of different ones, and I have different presets for different clients I work with for their brand colors, fonts, and yeah, there's just a ton of different things you can choose from, from the font, you can emphasize certain words, outline, you can have a background box, shadow emojis, wiggle, tilts on your emojis, you can remove profanity if you're editing a video where you need it removed. So there's just a ton of different things. And then you can also go through your captions to make sure they're done correctly. So obviously I'm not really sure if anything's right or wrong here, but personally from my experience, Firecut is 95% plus correct about your captions. So we can just do add a new track or if you want them it's selected on a track that's already existing for my case I'm going to select v3 and then we're going to put add styled captions to sequence and for this six second clip honestly this shouldn't take more than 15 seconds to get on the track here and just like that we now have all of our captions on our Premiere Pro track and they're very fancy and I know you, this is a paid plugin that you have to pay for, but again, Firecut to me is 100% worth it. There's so many different things they have with finding B-roll, creating highlights, multi-track, add zooms, removing silences from your long form content, removing filler words, so many different things that you can choose from from Firecut. But again, if you're just looking to add different languages to your captions in Premiere Pro, you can just use this free feature that I just showed you up here in the text panel. And it's really that easy. So please let me know down below if you need help with anything in Premiere Pro, let me know. I am very experienced in Premiere Pro, I would say. I've been editing in it since 2016 and been editing client projects in Premiere Pro since June of 2022. So please let me know if any of you need help in Premiere Pro with anything. And if you found value in this video, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.